When you were going back to save your co-workers, did you ever think, I may lose my life here? I thought about that before I, the cage came, the first time. Before the cage came, I said my prize, because once I saw that thing bobbing and I thought it was a machine, I thought about them, the kids and the wife, and I said, that's it. You know, it's over. There's no, because it's like a glass. There's one way in, there's one way out. And where we got to go out, that's where all the water is coming from. You know, and you're in the ground. I figured the whole thing is going to collapse. But when I went up the first time, I didn't think twice before I know I made it out. I got to go back and get him. You know, it's very difficult to work with a guy every day and walk away and leave him. You can't do it. You know, you guys, you, you got to get him. I mean, you, a lot of times it's not the same decision to make, but it's something that, you, like for instance, that night, they didn't have any time. Time was, that whole thing was filled with water. Within like eight to ten minutes, there were eighty-five thousand gallons of water came in that hole. Within eight to ten minutes, it was like someone did the calculation. It was ten thousand gallons a minute falling from eighty feet above your head down on you, and that's bringing all the ground, whatever it's washing out. Everything is coming with that water. When I go to work in the morning, like you know, I get up here and I go out there, and we all meet at the hog house, and Kenny's there, Johnny's there, and all the other guys are there. That's it for me. For that day, when I go back and get them guys, it's just to make sure that, you know, when I go into work in the morning, they're there. 